how to make millions of dollars in the iGaming and sportsbook industry. I'll never forget the day I was at a family function scrolling on my phone and seeing thousands of dollars coming in from an affiliate program. And today's video is on that topic and it is highly inspired by a video I just watched on YouTube from my friends at Rich Ads. The CMO went over to Latvia and interviewed the owners of Media24, a massive SEO company specializing in sports betting and iGaming. And that is a video linked down below that inspired today's video. In that video, they described their strategies for developing over 54 websites at this point that create millions of dollars a month in revenue. Check out that video for details on that. But in my video today, I'm gonna to talk about six traffic strategies for affiliate marketers looking to get into the space of sports betting. Sit back, get ready, and let's get started. Okay, welcome back. Let's get into my computer and let's talk about this. Here is the video I was referencing and basically this inspired me this morning to do this video I'm recording now. Basically, this video goes into whether it's possible to earn a million dollars in the iGaming industry and this talks about SEO and I can tell you right now, yes, it is possible. In fact, I've done it myself in the iGaming industry and a lot of people who know me and who have followed me for the years know I've spoken of casinos and betting before but today's video is going to help anyone that's looking to get into traffic generation strategies for this particular niche because it is a very lucrative niche. So if you wanna watch this SEO related video, I think it's very helpful and you should definitely check it out. Let's talk about iGaming first, okay? What is iGaming? And according to sportsbettingdime.com, they have defined it as any kind of online betting that wagers on the future outcome of a game or event. So basically it is sports betting, online casinos, poker, esports. They all fall under the iGaming definition. And according to this article, the gaming market is worth an estimated $66 billion per year when you factor in every available market. Now to go on some more research here that I was looking up in the US alone, you can see here that it is legal in 36 states up from 32 in 2021 now these might this might be different now so make sure if you're watching this just as a disclaimer online betting is illegal in some areas of the world so be careful if you are in fact promoting this or if you are doing it yourself just as a disclaimer i just want to get that out there but anyways you can see here it is a massive market growing exponentially every single year so there is a huge opportunity for affiliate marketers who can rightfully promote these offers and earn money that leads us to the next step how do you actually find offers in this industry well it's not hard simply do a google search and you can find thousands of affiliate offers available in this industry just as an example in max bounty if you search sports you're going to get a list of cpa offers available where they will pay you a cpa so this means that you're getting paid every time you get somebody to deposit into a casino or a sports betting website and you'll get paid once and only once now this is a little different than your typical rev share model in my experience i made a lot of money from rev share as well and i would combine both strategies cpa and rev share meaning if you could get people to sign up to a sports betting or a casino and they deposited money over time you would always get a small percentage of their deposits for the rest of their life as a member of whatever casino or sports book you you referred them to so there are varying varying opinions on rev share versus cpa depending on your traffic strategy so keep that in mind when you're getting into this niche here are some examples of some other affiliate programs available. There's FanDuel.com. They have an affiliate program and they, they focus on sports betting, fantasy, face-off, horse racing, casinos. Then you also have Bet365 has both CPA and RevShare as well as DraftKings. You can check them out. And there's just so many other casinos out there. I'm not going to ramble on about it, but it's not hard to find affiliate offers. So now that we know how big this industry is and where to find offers, I'm sure you're probably wondering, how do you actually get traffic? 
So let's talk about, I'm going to talk about three direct ways to get traffic for this industry. And then I'm going to talk about three indirect ways. And the reason why I'm going to cover both of those is because the indirect ways are ways that you can get traffic from paid traffic networks without breaking the rules. So we're going to get into that at the end of this video. So first, let's talk about SEO. SEO, I will admit, I don't do a lot of SEO especially in this niche, which is why I would highly recommend you go to this video if you want to talk about SEO and learn the reality of doing SEO in this niche. It is not going to be easy. It's going to be a long road to seeing traffic, but it is possible by focusing on specific countries, local markets, and specific keywords that bring in high revenue deposit members. I mean, in other words, you want keywords where people are searching for payment methods or how to win at online betting. Those are types of keywords they are mentioning in this video that bring in people that deposit rather than people that are searching for free deposit bonuses and stuff like that because they're not really typically your high value visitors. So keep that in mind when you're doing SEO. And I, like I said, I'm not going to ramble on too much about SEO because I don't actually do it myself. So now let's talk about paid advertising. Now, if you go to Google and you search, is sports betting allowed on Google ads? It's going to say they are allowed. But if you're an affiliate marketer and you know the experience of being an affiliate on Google ads, you're going to realize quickly that if you set up Google ads right now to a sports betting website, you're probably going to get your ad account banned. And that's also applying to anyone running on Facebook. So in reality, these gambling related websites are allowed, but you really need the license. You need to be the company itself as an affiliate trying to run sports betting or casinos on Google or Facebook, you are going to get banned. And that is why you see many affiliates doing weird things like cloaking or bait and switch, which I'm not going to cover here. It goes against the terms and I don't want to do that on my, on my channel, but that's what people are doing on those traffic sources. So in order to do paid ads, there are places that do allow paid ads for casino. And that includes places like push ads or native ads in particular. So places like MGID rev content, they allow casino ads. So does rich ads and roller ads and propeller ads. They're all push and native ad platforms that allow you to buy ads to these types of affiliate offers. So in order to do that, I would recommend you start there before you ever attempt running paid ads from Google or Facebook. Well, I'm going to get into indirect ways of getting the same audience in a minute by running these ads compliantly. But ne next, let's talk about social media. If you can directly advertise to people on social media using things like YouTube, let's have a look at YouTube and see the amount of views people are getting just for sports betting related material. You can see here, meet the number one sports better. Okay, that got um, 244,000 views. This sports betting fake guru, okay, that makes $100,000 a day. Maybe not the best video for your social media channel. But you can see these types of videos, what sports betting beginners should do. So you, you, see, you can see this is start to indirectly hit those people by teaching them about sports betting. Then, of course, leading them to signing up to a sports betting website. So these are training videos on how to be a good sports better, how to pick the best odds. All of those things are being covered on YouTube. And this is a way of getting that traffic directly into your funnel and the possibilities really are endless. As you can see, the amount of views on these videos is really impressive. This one here, 618,000 views, sports betting strategy that makes you profit every day. Okay, so these are, of course, the guru style videos, which do work. Another way is to go to TikTok and have a look at these videos. You can see also hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views on these videos related to sports betting. And these people are just creating videos. Now you can do a faceless style. So you can hire somebody to do these videos for you and start doing events, focus on events, focus on specific uh, strategies and all of that stuff. And that is how you will directly get traffic from social media. Okay, now let's talk about indirect strategies. Three strategies that I use myself still and that work quite well. Let's talk about first, the watch sports niche, okay? So I've done some videos on this. I'm in fact, I've done a whole case study and training program 
at powerhouseaffiliate.com, the link down below for the 30-day Google Ads Challenge where I go into watching sports online. We talk about running ads professionally on Google Ads as an affiliate, okay? The strategy really is you're getting people to come watch sports online, and that is completely legit. You are allowed to promote sports online, and you can ask people to sign up to a place like, let's say, Fubo. Okay, Fubo is an affiliate program. Actually, in fact, you can see it here at Max Bounty. Fubo TV, sports streaming subscription, so you can get 75% of the sale. But what you're doing here is you are offering access to users to watch sports while at the same time in the back end you're setting up systems to collect their email or a push subscriber you're getting them to join it come to your website they they click on the push notifications and then you can start pushing out your own messaging to these people including sports books casinos betting strategies tips all of that kind of stuff can be sent to them later if you can collect your subscriber first before offering them uh, the actual access to the sports streaming this is very difficult it's not easy but if you can make your front end system profitable with paid ads you can expand your back end system with push ads and email notifications to people and legitimately promote these offers legally keep in mind depending where you live that may not be legal so make sure you check with your local laws next the next strategy is to create sports news so have a website around the latest sports events or create your own youtube or instagram or TikTok following send them back to news style types of articles and you can also pay do paid ads to those you can run native ads you can run push ads you can run social media ads facebook you can share this legitimately if it's news you're getting people back to your website again indirectly you're going to be sending them later some more information around betting lastly there is a huge market around fantasy sports fantasy sports is a way to get around some of the terms that you can use when you're using paid ads especially on facebook and google there is an entire strategy around setting up these types of ads to get people in to sign up for fantasy stuff. For example, you could create an ebook or some type of training series on how to, you know, maximize your results in fantasy football or fantasy sports in general. And you could give that away for free, build your own email list, and then start doing it that way. So these are indirect ways of getting your audience into your own business and then legitimately pushing out information later. And that is how you can scale using paid ads without having to use shady mechanisms like cloaking or bait and switch, which will only get you banned in the future. So for more information, please don't forget to check out the description below. Hopefully that was informative on this topic. There's more, trust me, there's a lot more. Come inside Powerless Affiliate, we can talk about it more in the forum. And hopefully you like that. If you didn't, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like, comment, share, all of those things. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.